being in Hollywood. I love, I love the kinds of opportunities that we get to just show off Jesus, to showcase his love. And sometimes we don't use his name. Sometimes we just use love because the love virtue is stronger than any other virtue in the world. And when it comes in a perfected form, it can only come from one source. I mean, everybody has love, but only, only Christians have a perfected love. And so, you know, we're like St. Francis of Assisi, we preach Christ daily and sometimes we use words. And I like to use a lot of words, but I've had to learn a thing or two about how he gives away his love. And so we've been, in, we've been going to some places. Instead of saying, let's shut down Hollywood, we've been saying, let's open up Hollywood for the glory. So instead of closing down all the clubs, we're saying, we want to own them. Why not? We want to influence the owners. If we can't own them, we want to be the Daniels of them. Because God's not going to come and do replacement. He's not going to come and replace everything. He's going to come and invite the world to look like him. And so we're looking at it going, Lord, give us the club. So one of my first experiences was a whole band that um, Tyler was in called The Years. And we sent them uh, off. We prayed for them. And they went into Molly Malone's. Our Molly Malone's, is, you guys have one here, but I don't know if it's the same thing. Our Molly Malone's is a nightclub. It's a, it's a venue for musicians. And so they went to Molly Malone's in Hollywood and they um, did a performance. And I love at the end, and it wasn't about this. It was about them singing second commandment songs to love a generation. So it wasn't about the presence of God uh, visiting powerfully. It was about them singing second commandment songs and through the love of, to each other and hearing a pure form of love to each other, people are transformed. Do you believe that? So do you think that Eminem or Britney Spears, I know Eminem hasn't been around in a while, but he's so talented, he's so gifted. Do you think that he influenced the way people thought when he was doing his stuff? And so we're called also as Christians to influence through the arts. And that's one of the main callings in the arts is to co-create with God, which means that our creativity is what's at issue, not how we express religious principles through it. And so I went with this band with Tyler and we went over to um, Molly Malone's and we sat there and it was cool because he was, uh, Niles, the one who wrote the songs, was singing all these songs about hoping and dreaming and loving and you, you gotta believe in who you are and I believe in who you are. And all, I mean, all these things that were just amazing and I just loved to hear it. It was just really good music, kind of like Natasha Bedingfield, who's a radical Christian. You know, some of her songs that she sings, you know, take me away to the secret place on radio. You're just like, are you kidding? Like you're on the radio singing this. And her brother, who's also a musician, singing love songs, trying to train a generation what love songs really are, you know, and, and not just giving it over to the enemy and saying, you define love for our culture. He's saying, I want to define love for our culture as a Christian. I think that's huge. 